Hi. Now I've got an example here that I think is very useful if you're doing coordinate geometry. It illustrates lots of points. What we've got here is find the equation of the perpendicular bisector of the line joining the points A with coordinates 3, 5 and B with coordinates minus 2, minus 1. Given your answer in the form AX plus BY plus C equals naught where a, b and c are integers. Okay, so to do something like this, first of all I would draw a sketch. I'd draw a sketch graph purely because it will give me an idea of what's going on. It will also tell me if my answers look sensible. So we've got two points here, a, let's just pop Plot that on A at 3, 5. So 3 across, let's say about there, 5 up. I never really mark the scales on. You don't have to. It's just to give you a rough idea what's going on. B is at minus 2, minus 1. So 2 across that way, 1 down. Let's say B is about there. Okay, B at minus 2, minus 1. So we've got a line joining A and B. And if we're trying to find a perpendicular bisector, we're talking about a point in the middle of AB, okay, and its perpendicular is going to be a line that's going to look something like this, all right, passing through that point. This angle in here is going to be at 90 degrees. Now, if we're to find the equation of this line in this format, First of all, what do we know about equations of lines? Well, they have the form y minus y1 equals m bracket x minus x1. Okay, you can have a line in the form y equals mx plus c, but that's not much use because we don't know this point where the line would cross the y-axis, which would be the c in y equals mx plus c. So an equation like this, having this format, is really useful. Now x1, y1 is this point here, the midpoint of AB. So we need to get that point first of all. So let's start by getting that point. So if we say that the midpoint of AB equals, how do we find midpoints? Well we need to find the mean of the x-coordinates and the mean of the y-coordinates. So the mean of the x-coordinates would be 3 added to the minus 2 and then we need to divide that by 2 and we need to do the mean of the y-coordinates. So that would be 5 added to the minus 1 here and that 2 is divided by 2. So what does that come to? Well, the first coordinate is going to be a half and the y coordinate is going to be 2. So we've got a midpoint of a half 2. And I said draw a sketch so we can just check to see whether it looks sensible. Half across, 2 up, yeah, that's not too bad. So we've got our point here, let's just mark it in as a half and then 2. Now, what about the gradient to m? Well, it's perpendicular to the gradient of AB. So we need now to get the gradient of AB. And we can easily do that, so we'll just make a intro here, gradient of AB. Now to get gradient, we just need to do the difference in the Y coordinates divided by the difference in the X coordinates. So if we do 5 minus minus 1 for the difference in the Y coordinates, all divided by difference in the x-coordinates, so 3 minus the minus 2. Now obviously you could have done minus 1 minus 5 for the difference in the y-coordinates as long as you do minus 2 minus the 3. You will get the same answer. And that answer is going to be 6 over 5, a gradient of 6 fifths. Now we're looking for a perpendicular gradient, so therefore the perpendicular gradient, let's just write perp for short, perpendicular gradient 
is going to equal the negative of this number and the reciprocal of it. So it's minus 5 over 6. We just need to switch the sign and turn the fraction upside down. So now we can get the equation of the line because we've got the gradient, the m value, and we've got the coordinates of a point on that line. So therefore, let's just say that the equation okay, of the perpendicular bisector, perp bisector, is. Now what's it going to be? Let's just squeeze it in here. It's going to be y minus y1, so y1 is that 2, equals m, the gradient, minus 5 sixths, minus 5 over 6, times x minus x1, x1 being the half. So that basically is the equation of the line but it's not in this particular format. So in order to do that, we'll just draw a line down here and we'll carry on in here. What I'd want to do is times by the 6 to both sides. So I'd have 6y minus 2 times 6, which is 12. And then if we times this side by 6, because we've got one term here, this 6 gets cancelled. So we'll just expand the bracket. We'll have minus 5 times the bracket then, which will give minus 5x and then plus 5 over 2. But we've still got a fraction here, this 2. So I'd want to now multiply by 2 throughout to both sides. So we'd have 12y minus 24 equals minus 10x and then plus 5. And if I rearrange this now to get it in this format, I'd start off with a positive x term. So I'd need to add 10x to both sides. So we'd get 10x and then the plus 12y and then minus 24. And we need to subtract another 5. So that's minus 29 and that would equal 0. And there would be our answer. Okay.